<laughs> so you do have ambitions? Yes, sir, and capabilities. Uh, like loyal, resourceful, cooperative? Well, yes, those are good ones. <laughs> because that's what it says here. This is Mr. Vanderhoff's report. He says you're loyal, resourceful, cooperative. Mr. Vanderhoff said that? In that order? Imagine. <laughs> And Mr. Dobert says that you've been of immense help to him, and Mr. Kirkaby in public relations thinks that you're very bright. Mr. Kirkaby thinks I'm bright. Yes, they're all very keen on you. Kirkaby, Dobert, Vanderhoff, even Mr. Eichelberger. I think they overdid it. He's going to want to know what makes me so popular. So tell me, Baxter, what makes you so popular? <laughs> well, I imagine it's, well, they probably, I don't know. Baxter, is it your impression that I'm stupid? No, sir. Uh, have I given the impression that you give that impression, sir? Because I'll tell you, I'm anything but stupid. I know everything that goes on in this building, in every department, on every floor. All right, don't get nervous, because once you get nervous, I'll get nervous. On every floor. In 1963, there was an employee here by the name of Fowler. Now, Fowler was very popular, too. He was running a bookie business in the actuarial department. He was uh, tying up the switchboards, figuring the odds on the IBM machines. He would pass the money back and forth on the coffee wagon and pay off the winners under the prune danish. Isn't that terrible? It was for Fowler. I let him keep the prune danish. I figured he wouldn't be eating for a very long time. Uh, sir, is there some point in this story you're trying to point out to me? Because I'm not running a bookie joint. <laughs> what kind of joint are you running, Baxter? I, sir? Me? Uh, there's a certain key floating around the office from Kirkaby to Dobbish to Vanderhoff to Eiffelberger back to Kirkaby, etc., etc., etc. Now, this key I mentioned belongs to a certain apartment. And do you know who this key belongs to? You're looking at a young man in big trouble. Do you? Yes. See? To one loyal, resourceful, cooperative C.C. Baxter. Can I get you anything? Coffee? Rune Danish? Oh, Mr. Sheldrake, can you just please let me explain? All right. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, well, well, you see, uh, one night, about two months ago, I, I was on my way home from work uh, when I stopped in at the Grapes of Broth for a quick beer. That's all I drink, quick beers. <coughs> when I met one of the executives from one of our departments, uh, quite a decent gentleman who is suddenly confronted with this very unusual problem. The girl yeah, he was, was with was feeling, feeling sick. sick. That's, that's right. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you could see that she was hot as a pistol, and all she needed well, was a place, place to lie, lie down. down. That's right, again. Anyway, uh, he was in a tight spot because this girl, she, she lived, lived all the way up in the Bronx. No, as a matter of fact, she lived in Brooklyn. Where did I make my mistake? That's all right.